Dr. Masanori Aikawa, who is our Jeffrey Haig Award winner at the Vascular Discovery Meeting here in Boston. Um, so Dr. Aikawa, congratulations. What an honor. This is so exciting and your lecture was absolutely fabulous. So tell us something um, about your work that you just presented that you're most proud of. I basically, you know, uh, may, uh, discussed uh, two, two things, right? You know, when I was a junior, you know, an investigator at Brigham Women's Hospital, I, I worked on the so-called uh, mechanisms of uh, plaque stabilization by lipid lowering. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, we also learned that uh, lipid lowering cannot save all the patients. That's where, you know, uh, my current focus started. And then we realized that uh, we need to discover uh, new targets, you know, uh, for uh, cardiovascular uh, diseases. You know, that to go beyond the modifiable you know, uh, risks like uh, uh, dyslipidemia. And then you know, I also realized that uh, we would need to implement the systems approach, mm -hmm. you know, uh, to target discovery, to speed up the process, and also to um, identify a more promising target that can survive clinical trials. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that was uh, my uh, focus of my talk, and also this is uh, what I'm really focusing on right now. Mm -hmm. So the Hague Award is given to somebody um, who's made really meaningful contributions in the field um, and who is at, um, you know, a, a, a sort of a, a pinnacle point in their career where um, they're really contributing beyond, above and beyond, um, you know, and, and it's really a recognition of that. So what does this award, beyond just the amazing science that you've, you've been doing, but what does this award actually mean to you? Yeah. You know, uh, it means a lot, of course, you know, because uh, Dr. Haig was a brilliant lipidologist, and then I, I've been also working on uh, the, the role of lipids in atherosclerosis. You know, uh, I'm obviously very, very honored uh, to be recognized uh, with this award. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, although I didn't know Dr. Haig, you know, uh, my, uh, myself, but uh, many of my colleagues knew him very well. Then they all told me that Jeff was uh, not only a brilliant scientist, but also a very good person. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm so happy to be recognized with uh, this award named after such a wonderful individual. Mm -hmm. and, and also, um, I'm an internationally trained scientist from uh, a non-English speaking nation, Japan. I struggled a lot to survive in this uh, nation. Uh, that, that's why when I looked at the long list of uh, uh, past awardees, you know, uh, and I realized that I'm the second Japanese, I was more excited. Wow! Uh, the, my message to you know, a young international trained scientist is that uh, if I could do it, you can do it. So that that's uh, my you know excitement right yes, now. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it sounds like. Um, that would have meant a lot to Jeff Haig as well to be, um, to know that an award uh, in his name not only is supporting the fabulous, exciting science, but also for people who, like you say, may think, oh, this is too difficult for me, or maybe I can't do this, and, and in fact, uh, it can. So that's that's fabulous. So where, what's next for you? What's on the what's on the horizon? Right, I will be still focusing on the macrophage biology in the context of vascular diseases using systems biology. You know, uh, but you know, uh, my research has shifted the, from the cells to animal models to uh, clinical samples. Mm -hmm. And now uh, we are using you know, uh, clinical information from, for example, electronic health records. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, the, the, this is part of uh, my interest in uh, biology of heterogeneity. Right. Macrophage heterogeneity is very interesting, mysterious, and important. And also, uh, heterogeneity at uh, populational mm -hmm. level is very important. Mm -hmm. In my mind, you know, uh, biology of het heterogeneity you know, uh, ranges from cells to animal models and people. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you know, we are uh, determined to use more clinical samples, mm -hmm. clinical information, mm -hmm. and then link uh, the findings with you know, uh, basic science mm -hmm. using 
cell cultures, molecular biology, and animal models. So that will be our future. Excellent. Well, congratulations again uh, for this fabulous award and uh, this excellent lecture. Thank you very much.